In this MMP1 tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to connect the MMP1 editor and the MMP1 app to the actual MMP1 hardware. So let's take a look at the MMP1 editor first here on your computer. Now, if you'll notice up here on the right hand side, there's this connection status indicator over here. If it's dark, meaning it's not colored, that means you're not connected to the MMP1. If it's uh, uh, colored, lit up, then you know you are connected to the MMP1. So this is an important uh, thing to note here. If you want to make any changes to the configuration of the MMP1, you need to do so in the editor app while it is not connected, when it is in offline status. Let me show you here. So if I click the connection icon, up pops this window here. And we can either connect to the MMP1 uh, in two different directions here. Either the editor uploads its information to the hardware unit, or we download the information from the hardware unit into the editor. But if you want to create a new preset, or if you're just starting with the, with the MMP1, you want to be in offline mode, which we are right now. And that way we can make a whole series of changes, build up a preset, and then upload it all at once to the MMP1. So right now I'm in offline mode. Uh, the connection status is dark. Um, now I can create a new preset using the setup wizard or make adjustments to the preset that I already have. Um, and when I'm ready to actually start using the unit, um, I'll go back here to the connection button, open this up. So now I need to decide if I want to connect from the editor to the MMP1 or from the MMP1 to the editor. So if I've just created a new preset and I'm just getting started, I need to upload the information from the editor into the MMP1 to configure it. Uh, if we're changing settings or um, adding some details to an existing preset, then you want to upload the information from the MMP1 into the editor, and then you can make your changes there. So in this case, I am going to send the information to the MMP1 from the editor application. And you can watch the status here. Now, once we're done, you can see now the uh, connection status is lit. And now the MMP1 is operational. It's got the preset loaded and we're ready to go. So uh, that's the editor app. That's how you connect and upload and download data to and from the hardware unit. On the iPad app, let's take a look at that here. Now on the iPad app, there are two views. The first view um, is the control view, and that's where you would normally operate uh, the volume controls, talk back, speaker selection, all that sort of stuff. And then the second view is the editor view, where we can actually change some more detailed settings, uh, operate the channel strip, and get into the preferences and that sort of thing. So. Um, in both views, there is a connection icon. So if you'll see, I'm in the uh, editor view here. And if I press the connection icon, uh, we get a similar type of window that we do in the editor. And that is uh, we can either connect via wireless, in which case uh, I'm using a Wi-Fi network here to connect to the unit, or you can use the camera connection kit and connect with a direct wired connection uh, for a little bit more of a robust connection. Um, and we can decide if we're offline or if we're actually going to connect. So currently I'm in offline mode, but when I'm ready to actually connect to the hardware unit, I'll press the connect button here. And now we're syncing with the MMP1. Boom. Now we're ready to go. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to control view. Control view also has a connection icon. You can see right up here towards uh, the left side of the meters. And if I wanted to switch to offline mode, I can simply do that here like that. And now we're offline. So um, there you go. That's how you connect the editor and the iPad app to the hardware unit. And the, the key thing to remember is if you're making any uh, changes or, or creating a new preset, you need to be in offline mode in the editor to, to do that. And then once you're ready, you'll upload all that information to the MMP1 all at once, and then you'll be ready to go. So uh, we'll have more tutorials on how to configure the unit, um, and we'll see you then.